Okay, I'm back with uh, the new test setup. I'm using uh, Variac to control my voltage. You can see where I've got it over here. Um, reading 43 and a half volts, about 12 amps. Um, I got my timer set. This is the cell that was the clamp together. Uh, now I've had to go ahead and clamp it because when I get into higher pressures, it blows a seal. So that's the new and improved cell. Um, I got two in, two out, and they're going to the reservoir. Now the reservoir has an output on the cap. It has uh, three inputs on the top. One of the inputs is the air, which I'm controlling over here. And if you look at the flow meter, there's it's not showing any flow, but on this flow meter, I'm bouncing uh, between three and four liters per minute. And that's on a CO2 flow meter. So we've got three or four coming out, our burner. And you can see I got the four um, tip burner in there. And I'm about to light that for the first time. And if everything goes well, everything will go well. <laughs> uh, this is my dryer that's got uh, activated carbon in it, charcoal. This is the scrubber that has the uh, turpentine in it, which I'm still using the same one that I was using before. And uh, so anyway, here we go. I'll go ahead and light it and then we'll see what happens. This is new activated carbon, so it will take a little while for that to equalize. Okay, flame is invisible. Alright, that's where it was to start with. I'm going to go ahead and get a picture of this flame. The only way you can really see it is to look across at that black background. It may have flashed out. I'm going to go ahead and do a time test now. I've got the timer set up. Uh, I've got 16 ounces of water in here. The temperature of this is 87 degrees. Flames are on. Start fire. Yeah. 
43 volt, 12 amps. So that's uh, about 500. Oh, must have flamed out. We'll know when this is up to boiling because there will be steam coming out. So as soon as I see steam, I'll go ahead and call the test and take temperature readings inside before I call it. It should be boiling pretty good. Um, oh, sounds like it went out again. Yeah. Flames there. And you can hear it. It's rock and roll. our output. Um, I've got a test sheet. I can go ahead and show the test sheet on here from the cell. Um, all my readings for the test that I ran this morning after I put it together. Um, see there we had the old electrolyte which I didn't change the electrolyte uh, and my MMW is 5.1 at 42 volts 5 amps. Oh. Went out again. Okay. That's a nice blue flame, so we're getting the flame back the way we can get it. It's hard to see this, but it's a, it's a nice blue flame. Burn her out. We gotta stop our test and take a reading on the inside. Um, is what we had. Now the blue flame is, is more predominant. Uh, I still don't think I'm getting enough output there with uh, that amount of hydrogen. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the hydrogen and see what we get then. But. Our first test, uh, <laughs> 6 minutes, 30 seconds, to get to 192, <sighs> 6 minutes, 30 seconds, 192, our starting temperature was 87. 105 degree difference in six and a half minutes. 